a video response to Dolly and the Black Dog. And also a little side note, this is probably going to be my last video with my Kodak Easy Share. For one, uh, because I don't like it anymore because I can't edit my videos and it takes me like 20 takes to do every one. So anyway, um, I've ordered a Flip Minnow and it's on the way. So, um, and I also have a video series that I'm doing as soon as I get it. So it'll probably be about a week until I post any other um explanation or how-to videos so with that said um and then i look kind of dressed up because i'm going out to dinner with my husband tonight and some friends so yay date night okay um she had a video posted about um alter tools to use them or not to use them so i'm going to show you guys mine and then you know tell you when i use them and when i don't use them so first this is my chalice and it's got a little triple goddess type etching on it. Um, this one I use a lot. Um, I use it for my sabots. I use it for S-bots. I use it for stone elixirs or gem waters. Um, I use it for moon water and sun water. And I love it. Now I saw... Um, drawing a blank. Hold on. Um... Oh, Photo Girl 1. Oh, I love her chalice. That's so pretty. Um, but yeah, this one, um, if this ever breaks, I'll probably get um, like a stainless steel or sterling silver one just because I think they're just gorgeous. But this was the first one that I saw that really called to me. So, And I use this a lot. Um, sometimes it'll be months between the times that I use it. but um, And then I'll have months where I use it all the time so it just depends and this is my little cauldron um, I got this right away after I started in the craft um, I don't remember how much it was but I use this a lot for like fire stuff for like I'll put candles in it and I'll burn parchment and I've burnt charcoal blocks before but they're really smoky um, so I don't really use that a whole lot for block incense. I love Nag Champa stick incense. That's my ultimate favorite. So, and then if I have like water or something, something, then I'll use this little cauldron. This actually, I think had pimentos in it. This was like a food container or jar that I got from the grocery store. I actually have some uh, sea salt and Florida water in it now. This is my main purpose for this one. Um, at this point right now because we've done a lot of like ripping up carpets and stuff and this kind of helps settle the energies and get the energies kind of back where they're supposed to be so um, I love this one though and I actually was at the grocery store the other day looking for another one and I couldn't find it so I'm hoping they didn't stop making that I, and I, I think I think there's pimentos in it I couldn't remember but it had like a little um, like gold flip top lid type thing that kind of just went on it so um well most lids do that but whatever it kind of had like a little vacuum thing every time that you anyway okay so this is why i don't like my easy share because i start babbling and then i think it's stupid so okay now on to my athamine oh my cauldron i use all the time um i have it next to my ancestor altar and most of the time i use it to put in the spent candles as well as the matches um, but then for ritual I'll use it for the actual candles and the parchment and everything like that so this is something that I use every day now this is the first athame that I got it's a little tarantula spider athame um, and there's wax all over it this is my main purpose for this athame um, for one I don't really like spiders so that's why I got it because I figured I need to like feel the love for the spiders because they're really good for creativity and they're um, a symbol of the goddess and the web of life. So um, that's why I got this one. It's sharp. It's very sharp. So I use it to clean out my candle um, stands. So, um, But yeah, that's my main purpose for this one. And because of that, I mean, I got this one right away. I think I got this like the same time that I got this and it was like $5. And I actually went to one of my friend's um, housewarming parties, and we had a ritual in the backyard. Oh, my gosh, it was amazing. You know who you are, because I know you're watching this. But it was so amazing, and she has the most gorgeous athame. I mean, it's, it's borderline sword. It's that big, and it's that cool. And so I was like, oh, man, I need to get one. So I looked forever online, and I got one. 
And so this is the one that I picked out. And I got this online, so I had no idea what it was going to be like. I had no idea of the quality. Um, but this is my Athame, and I love it. I mean, it's heavy. It's really heavy. I don't remember where I got it. I do apologize. This is the blade. I have used this a few times in my um, S-Bots. I have not used it in Sabots. Um, it was worth the money, and I'll probably use it more in the future, but right now, um, it just kind of stays on my altar in my closet. So, and now my wand. And Photo Girl 1, we have like the same like wrapper, and I think we have the same kind of wand, or at least the same manufacturer of our wand, because I was, I saw her response video, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's my wand! <laughs> so... Anyway, this is made with ebony, and I've used this one time, and it works amazingly well. Uh, because it works so well, I'm apprehensive to use it again. So, yes, um, I highly recommend, if you are creative enough to um, make a wand of your own, or you don't feel like you have the woodworking skills, I think I'm creative enough, but I know that I don't have the woodworking skills enough to make a wand this amazing. And I'll tell you a real quick story. I don't know what time I'm at, but I saw this. Huh? 6.30. Okay, perfect. I saw this at the local, um, well, actually, like, the store is, like, 45 minutes away. But anyway, I saw this in the little cabinet thing that they had, you know, like, the little glass case. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I knew I shouldn't have asked to pick it up, but I was like, oh, I want to see that one. So I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And the energy in this wand is amazing. And I was like, okay, no. And to me, I was thinking, oh, that's so Harry Potter-ish, you know, whatever and whatever. So, and I'm thinking I could just use my finger because that's what I'd done before to use a wand. And so I went back home, and, like, every single night for, like, a week, I kept thinking about this wand, and I'm like, dang it. And it was, like, 30 bucks. Or actually, I think it was like 36 and I did not have the money for this wand. I'm like, I cannot afford this. But I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, I keep thinking about this wand. And something tells me that I need this wand. So I called the shop owner and I said, hi, it's Flora. Um, can you save that wand if you still have it? Because she said that these sell like hotcakes usually. And for some reason, a whole week went by and nobody bought it. I said, could you please hold it? And she held it for me, and then when I saved up enough money, I actually went and I purchased this. Oh my gosh. And then I did, I believe it was a blue moon. The blue moon that was in 2007. That was the last blue moon that we had. And I used it on that, and oh my gosh. It was, wow. I mean, it blew me away, I put it that way. So, yay. But anyway, so these are my um, tools. Um, that, you know, like my ritual tools. The only one that I'm kind of going, well, maybe I probably shouldn't have got this, was, well, my, okay, I'm not sure how much this was. I think it was pretty reasonably priced, but I haven't used it as much as I thought I would. Um, so, I think if you're waiting to purchase something, wait until it calls to you, like something like this. And, I mean, something, all the things that have actually called to me, I use a lot. And the things that I was, I, I said, oh, I want this just because, you know, somebody else had one and it was really cool, I don't use very much at all. Um, so, in my opinion, if you, if it calls to you, if something really is like, hello, look at me, I want you, you know, um, and it, you just cannot get it out of your head, get it. You know, save up for it and get it. Okay, and then, um... But if you're just looking for something just to have it, I would, I would hold off and use something like that you can find in the grocery store or something, you know, just for now, you know what I mean? If, if you feel like you need a wand or if you need a, um, like a cauldron or something or, or an athame that um, haven't, you know, called out to you. So, anyway, um, I hope my rambling has made sense today. So, yay! Um, Blessed be, and I am so looking forward to making this new video series that I have planned. Yay, I'm so excited. So, blessed be, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.